TIFU by taking my three-year-old daughter to a Greek restaurant before going to grandma's house. This was 21 years ago. My then three-year-old daughter, let's call her, Tina, was with me for a full-day road trip to grandma's house. We were about a half hour away, and it was getting a little late and I didn't want my mom to have to worry about dinner. I called her and told her we were going to stop at a restaurant for dinner. And we'd be about an hour later than expected. Stopped at a Greek restaurant that happened to have belly dancers. Tina absolutely loved it. Huge smiles as she watched them dance. She loved all the flashy accessories they used. And they thought she was adorable and taught her a few moves. So much fun. Of course I gave the dancers four or five dollars for a tip as we were leaving. We got to my mom's house. And my mom is excited to see us. Hi Tina, how was dinner? Quote. Her response. In her cute little three-year-old voice. Hi grandma, it was really fun. We went to a restaurant where the girls had no clothes on. And there was music. And the girls danced for my daddy. And my daddy gave the girls some dollars. Where's grandpa? I want to tell him too. Quote. Fuck my life. TL. DR. Three-year-old daughter's description of belly dancers at the Greek restaurant made my mom believe I had taken her to a strip club for dinner. Mom, it's not what it looks like. That child is a menace tears of joy tears of joy. My father hates, loves the story of when I was four-fifths and we were watching a TV show. It was a hospital setting and a character was a prostitute. IDK. 80s were a weird time. I asked what it meant and he had always been honest with me and said, it is a lady who sleeps with a man for money. I thought, oh like I sleep with my teddy bear. I can get money for sleeping? I'm good at that. I saw my grandmother the next day and proudly announced I want to be a prostitute when I grow up. Ha ha ha. Reminds me of this nurse who saw her daughter's essay about her profession. My mom works at night and sleeps all day. When she comes home, she can't hug us until after she showers because she says she is covered in other people's fluids. Tears of joy, tears of joy, tears of joy, tears of joy she was like. I wonder how long that teacher thought I was a lady of the night before meeting me and realizing. I'm a nurse rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. This is hilarious. Oh wow. My co-worker years ago had a son. During summer break they were driving down Aurora Avenue in Seattle to Green Lake Park. Along the way they passed, the dancing bear. It had a sign out front with a brown bear spinning on a pole. I think it even had a tutu. The kid was excited. Wanted to see the bears dancing. Mom. Very frankly. Says, that's where naked ladies dance. Not bears. Being seven. Little homie accepted that and moved on. They went to the park and the subject never came back up. Fast forward to the first day of school. Teacher asks for a paragraph about what they did that summer. They were supposed to read it out loud. He got two sentences in and was immediately sent out of class. Mom is summoned. She's irritated because. What could little dude have done at the first day? Teacher sits her down and hands over the paper. Mom turns red immediately and apologizes and everyone has a talk with Junior. The story went. This summer my mom and I went to the dancing bear. We saw naked ladies dance. Mrs. Teacher was there dancing too. It was fun. Always take pic or vid of your kid doing things. So you got proof it ain't like that. Ma. It was classy as heck. Kids say the damnedest things. You need to randomly show up with gyros and Greek salads and such items. Take it to the 20 year roll. Ha 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 ha. Too cute. As long as you didn't end up on a registry. 
Rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. What does your now 24 yo daughter remember of this? And that is how I got away with going to a strip club 21 years ago. This made me cackle. Beyond a laugh a straight up cackle. You're raising a good kid. She didn't tell a single lie in her story. It got worse when he only have a bundles of $1 bills. I'm mostly just impressed that you said, let's call her Tina, and then you actually used the name. In the story, that's rare. I hope Gramps was like, you didn't invite me? Greek restaurant strip club, sounds dope. Titties and euros in the same spot? Count me in. David, is that you? Opa. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.